So tell us a little bit about your performance. You were saying up there that you weren't exactly 100% happy with it. Why not? Yeah, um, he kind of threw me off with like how confident he was on the feet. You know, just sitting down on his punches, kind of reckless. And uh, yeah, it just kind of caught me off guard. Um, I got a little flat-footed, which I didn't like. You know, I'm, I'm a lot more movement in the gym. Um, so yeah, I kind of had to adjust there. And yeah, that, that's why I think, you know, I move a lot more and I have a lot more conditioning than that, you know. So I kind of got a little flat-footed later on in the fight. That had to do with what he presented. Yeah, uh, yes and no. Like a little bit of like the jet lag and stuff here. You know, I was having real trouble sleeping all week, but um, I mean, I wouldn't say that was affected my performance. It just kind of made me feel a little slower um, all day kind of thing. But uh, as for his, like the way he brought the fight, you know, he was just flat-footed, really confident in his punches. And you know, it really throws you off who, with a guy who's reckless, you know. So uh, you don't really get to be as confident as you would like to be when there's a guy who's just, you stand in their hands on his waist, just reckless, you know. Did you expect such a tough fight? Definitely. I mean, he's, he's a guy that, like I was saying in all my interviews, I was expecting to win the in-betweens, the, the wrestling, the, like the scrambles positions and everything. But he's a guy who's, you know, very dangerous off of his back with the, like submissions that I had to be worried about all 15 minutes. And on the feet, he's dangerous, not necessarily outstriking me, but landing that one punch. He's just, he's reckless, right? He just throws big punches. So on the feet, I had to be worried. And on the ground, I had to be worried. But I figured I was going to be winning the whole fight leading up to those. How hurt were you with the flying knee? I mean, yeah, it sat me down, I think, or rattled me a little bit. But uh, I mean, I, it's not like I was out at all. I mean, right away, I was grabbing onto him and I was OK. But uh, yeah, it definitely gave me a little stun. You know, it woke me up. Talking about the long flight and all that, uh, was it tougher going down to 145 because of that? No, I mean, I'm a little bigger now, but I fought my whole career at 145. I, uh, it was just more so, the humidity was a little bit of it, just the time, like the sleeping, and I just wasn't, you know, comfortable all week, right? Even though I love Brazil, uh, the temperature was different, the weather was different, the humidity, the food, it was hard finding food that I liked, there's a little bit of salt in the water, just little things like that I wasn't really, I mean, I underestimated. Uh, on Monday? Monday, right? Yeah, I would have liked to like, you know, find a gym here and come down. If I'm going to fight again in Brazil, it'd be nice to like come down two weeks out or something like that. Get a week of training, hard sparring down here, get that like deep lung workout and that I didn't really get here. You started as a lightweight because you were sort of feeling in, but you had said from the start that your division was featherweight and that you wanted yes. to be there. Wasn't it at all hard to make it like within the UFC, just make yeah. the transition? Um, yeah, surprisingly, I had to kind of sit out a little longer than I wanted. Yeah. I mean, it was, I think, six months since my last fight. And uh, so, yeah, they, they were kind of a little bit more stubborn on, on when I was going to fight again. Like, they offered me lightweight fights, but I, you know, I mean, it's a crowded division, so I had to kind of wait my turn. So now that I think I got the win in, it'll be quicker now. That fight, I remember you called out Artem Lobov. Yes. <laughs> I know he's actually on a main event. We just didn't want that fight. I called. I, you know, I called that. I knew. I, 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 I'm a, a geek when it comes to this division. You know, I, I study everybody. I knew. I know everybody on the roster. You know, I think. I mean, if somebody were to quiz me, I would be able to find everybody. You know. Um, so Artem was a guy that I, I wanted because I knew he was going to be getting these big fights, and now he's in a main event against you know Cub Swanson. So I wasn't wrong there, but. Uh, I mean, if I had to choose somebody who's not booked, I mean, uh, um, Elkins just fought last week. I think that would be, you know, a great fight for me. I mean, he's high up rankings. I think I match up great with him. Um, another guy who's not booked, who's pretty high up there is Andre Feely. You know, those two guys, I, I mean, I would love to have either one of them. Nothing against them personally. I mean, I trained at Alpha Male before and stuff like that. I just think I match up great against those guys. and. I mean, with all these guys here, they can match me up with anybody. But if I can kind of call my own shots, I would love to, you know. So I'll be the first one to say, like, I want Elkins, I want Feely, I want somebody like that, you know, somebody coming off of a win that I think I match up great with. You seem, well, you're young, you don't seem to be injured, anything. No. Do you want a quick turnaround? You have yeah, I mean, somewhere, you know, not, I, I mean, I love Brazil and everything, but somewhere stateside would be nice. You know, somewhere I'm, I can stay home a little bit longer, I can fly more people to the fight and stuff like that, like a Vegas card or anywhere in Canada, anything like that would be would be ideal. I love Brazil though. I mean, I would definitely come back. I want to come back for, for more of a training, you know, vacation training camp kind of thing. You know, I want to get uh, Viviano Fernandez, my head coach. I would love to come down with him and get a lot of training in with him here, stuff like that. But I mean, I, if I can fight in, in Canada, that's my home. You know, I, I, I like representing Canada. I like being the only Canadian on the card. So, I mean, that, that, I, I take a lot of pride in that. So, I mean, I want to just represent Canada wherever I go. 
you mentioned it. I think people are already talking about you as a Canadian prospect. Uh, how do you take that? Is that extra pressure or maybe added motivation for you? It's definitely added motivation, but I mean, it kind of it threw me off. Like a lot of these articles came out, you know, a few days before the fight, and I'm sitting there. Me and my coaches were sitting there in the hotel room and we're reading like all these. He's going to be the next this and this, and I was just like, man, that's a lot of pressure to kind of dump on me just before I fight. You know, arguably the toughest fight of my my career. You know in a hostile territory and, and stuff like that. So my coaches were good at calming me down, saying, you know, you're the next you, you know, so just focus on that. Don't worry about anything else. Get your job done and then we'll figure out what's next. So that's kind of what I'm going with here. Was it as uh, hostile as you expected to be? What's that? Host uh, yeah, I mean, it didn't affect me as much as I thought. I thought I was going to be like, man, these guys are gonna be chanting I'm going to die and I'm going to be all freaking out. But it, I loved it, actually. You know, I, it, was, it was a cool feeling, especially at the weigh-ins. You know, it kind of fired me up. I was like, okay, hey, like, I wanted to go there. I wanted to, you know, call in a ref right there and get it going. You know, I was just, I was amped up. Um, and then even coming into the cage today, I was way more relaxed than when I was fighting at my hometown. You know, was, the cheers are harder than the booze, I, I would find. You know, so I, I liked it. And I want to add that at the end there, I mean, I had a lot more fans. So that's, that's cool. So. Your mom was here, right? For this fight. What yeah. it was like to have your mom watching your fight and watching everybody against you? My mom and my dad actually both, they're the only two people who flew down aside from my co coaches and I love that, you know, that's, my family follows me around everywhere for my fights. Uh, my mom's never necessarily um, liked it, but she supported it 100%, which I love, you know, I wouldn't be where I am without the support they both gave me. You know, especially going through high school, I was training constantly and they were like, before I even had my license, they're driving me around to their son to drop off to get, you know, in, in sanctioned fights, you know, so... Uh, I love having them here as long as they, they liked it. I mean, my dad got thrown off more than I did at the weigh-ins. You know, I remember I was walking in and I saw him and he's just like screaming at the other guy, at Jason and stuff. I was like, calm down. He's like, I didn't expect them to boo like that, man. That was so, yeah, it's kind of funny. I mean, it's an experience for them too, which I like. You know, I'm, I'm experiencing all this, but I'm glad I get to experience with my coaches and, and my family. You know, this is like once in a lifetime kind of stuff.